Who have 13 years old? Right. How it feel being around Master P? I mean, that, that whole movement. Like, in them times, well, like, that rap shit wasn't, like, exciting to us. And, and like, rappers wasn't exciting to us. But I think that shit played a good part for me because, like, I, I, don't, I don't never have nothing bad to say. Like, I can tell you some shit about it. But like I can't ain't, ain't much I got I, I can't say nothing bad about people because he told me about copyrights and publishing. I would marry the motherfucker with him when he ain't gonna get on this song with Baby. Cause I had the opportunity to put him and Baby. I, I was the first artist to put Cash Money No Limit on the same album. But I was supposed to have Baby and Stunner on the same record. Stunner with I mean uh I mean I thought they had Stunner and Master P on the same record. Baby was with it. He wasn't fucking with it. So I, that's why P was not a P and P not on my second album. How you had a how you had a relationship with Cash Money and No Limit? Well, like the, the crazy shit is, it's a guy named Elden, Elden, right? Mm -hmm. That's Baby uh, Step on. Like I come up under him. Like I had babies. I had kids when I was like thirteen. I had kids when I was fourteen years old. My first kid, I was fourteen years old, and I used to hang in at thirteen, which is where my baby mama was from. And a dude named Elder just took a liking into me, but that just happened to be. Baby brother. Like, you hear him talk about him a lot. Well, sometimes you hear him talk about it, but he was a motherfucker. And he just took a liking into me. So that's like how I started. Like, like I was from the Magnolia. I was hustling in the 13 world. I used to be hustling in the flat because that dude took a liking. Into me. So for me to meet uh, Baby, but like I say, Baby and Dodo had a good relationship. All right. And then I grew up right next door to uh, Master P cousin Rashid. So I used to always see Master P going right next door before he got on. So we had, we wasn't, everybody wasn't cordial, but we had facial recognition. Like we knew who each other was. Right. Now nah, I understand what you mean. Did you have a relationship with Juvenile? Juve, my dog. I fucking do. I would tell nigga Juve on the radio. That's a good rapper, motherfucker. Like, motherfucker don't know. She's like fucking 400 degrees, bro. Yeah. Dude and I walked y'all through our project. Literally. Like, if niggas go back and look, I'm telling you, like, that nigga's name is Dolphins and how it was going down. Like, Jew, motherfucker, bro. Like, and every time I see Jew, he called me to say that I called him to nothing. He'd be like, you good rapping motherfucker. The Stone used to always tell us that. So every time we see each other, we'd be like, you good rapping motherfucker. That nigga Jew, underrated. Like, that nigga walked motherfucker through our project. Ain't nobody never did that better, better than him besides Snow. And Slim was doing it because he was experienced in the shit. Like, Juve had to get out that bitch and was walking us through it. Slim walked us through it when he was really in there, really living that shit. That was a different ballgame. What was your relationship with, with Slim and... Slim, with, Slim with, used to cut my hair. Slim used to cut my hair. So, like, man, Slim, he been tight. And Slim used to cut my hair. Like, you know what's crazy, like... Uh, my best friend name is Janero, right? That's Slim's son name. Slim named his son after my best friend. Like, say, we used to be on this porch walk, like, 2909 Tyler Dino. Rashid used to cut hair, we used to shoot dice, but we just used to attract boo cool girls. So Slim them used to always come come around there and fuck with us. Slim, Booby Black, Gangster, like all them used to just come fuck, come right there and fuck with us because we used to have all kind of bras. Like we used to have bras coming from St. Mary's and Seton Hall and shit like that. Like it, it was just that we was attracting. I don't, I can't tell you how or why because I don't remember asking that time. But motherfuckers just used to always come around there and never be mostly motherfuckers out of the project. Like it'll be different kind of motherfuckers. All right.